One thing that happened over the off season is George was talking and guy and I talked about this probably a month ago about like setting up plays. Like he'll just do throwaway plays in the run game to ultimately or pound you, pound you knowing that it'll break maybe in the third or fourth quarter. But in the first or second quarter, every fan's going to be throwing up their hands. Like, what are we doing? Mm-hmm. Is that something that just consistently, because you guys are, because we, because guy asked, I remember when we were doing the pod, like, does Andy redo that? I'm like, well, it's a little different in the passing game right than it is in the running game right is that first and foremost is that a fair assessment and two do you guys consistently do that yeah no i think that's a fair assessment like obviously in the passing game i feel like the biggest thing is like okay you can set up a double move you know like all right you're gonna run a hitch and then you're gonna run a hitch and go but you still want to complete the hitch right yeah exactly exactly and i I mean that's kind of that's pretty basic elementary but um no he george is 100 percent telling the truth there as far as uh the run game setting up a play later um you know run play in the first half setting up a play in the second half like that that's happening every single game um and i think uh, if you listen to this this playmakers podcast he kind of they allude to that um that play action is, is is a big part of um his offense and i think it was uh he like showed up in tampa and they didn't have any play action and he's like all right well we have to build something in there and he talks about the drift route which, I mean, in the basic sense of it, it's a play action that you're trying to draw out the linebacker and you're going to replace him with the receiver behind him. And that's, I mean, that's been a huge play. For yeah. me. 90% of Debo's 60-yard touchdowns are that play, specifically. Like, um, So that's just a big part of his, uh, his game planning. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing that every week. So do you, you get – go ahead, John. The crazy part about the offense, right, is a lot of offenses evolve. Like when I was with Andy a decade ago, the West Coast, it was still pretty close to like stuff that Walsh and some of the, that definitely they were doing like with Favre and Steve Young was doing in the 90s. And I think Kyle has parts of that, but the running game is much more of a factor. And, and when I got to the NFL, Andy had a fullback, like we would get in pro formations. That is the still the base of your offense. Like, have you seen in all the years you've been around Kyle, it has it really adapted or is it just so hard to defend that you don't really need to? Because most offenses, it's like adapt or die, but it feels like, Kyle, there's still just some basic elements of we're going to run outside zone and that's never really going to change. No, it, it, it's 100% adapted. And it's it's at a, a more minute scale that, like, it, it's kind of harder to see, like, if you're not in it every single day. Um, I would say the the biggest way that it's evolved is just been like our run schemes. Um, when I, early on, when I got there, like there was a lot of, um, I mean, I guess in the, the easiest way, like I'm, I don't have a better word for it. There was just like simpler schemes. Like it, like it was, you know, we're in the I formation and I'm going to go fit up on the Mike linebacker. Like we ran, it was called 18 Mike. We ran that a shit ton my first like two years. Um, and then Is that just in, like an inside zone run. Yeah. And we could do it inside or outside zone, but just like me, just like leading up on the, on the Mike linebacker. Um, or, you know, we run a weak side. We just, we call that week 19 week and just me leading up on the will linebacker. Um, there's less Loren- of Lorenzo Neal would be proud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there's less of that now. So like in 19, when we went to the Super Bowl, all of a sudden we're running all these gap schemes. We're coming out, we're running power. We're running counter. We're running weak side counter, all that kind of stuff. Um, but he, we always do it. We do a, we marry that with that outside zone that we're known for. So, like, we block our counter scheme different than anybody else. Like, most people on gap or pin and pull schemes, like, they're trying to just move people. Like, it's about big guys moving big bodies. Yeah. Um, where we try to make like the front side of our gap schemes look like the back side of our zone schemes. So we try to make people run and you're, you're kind of putting yourself on a limb there because uh, not to get like in too much of offensive line detailing, but when you take a really wide target um, it's easier for a defensive lineman to kind of shed that. And if he knows that, okay, a power play is coming to me, the offensive line is not getting into them as much. You're trying to get them to run. So you take a wider target, um, getting less of the defender. 
you it's really positional are. blocking more yes, than just Yes, exactly. Yeah. And so you're trying to make him do the movement for you. Um and so you're putting it on a little bit of a risk because if if that defense lineman sniffs that out, that's an easy play for him to stop. But yeah. we make it so believable because that's what we do. We run outside zone consistently. So we try to make it hard to distinguish between the two. But like you said, going back to like the, the offense evolving, every, I, every year or two, I feel like it, there's just there's been things that become like kind of our staples. Like uh, I think it was about three years ago, we, we call it spirit motion where you'll see me kind of go in that jet sweep motion um, before the play. And like usually it's me and Kittle like teaming up and kicking out the end man line yeah. scrimmage or whatever. And that became a big thing like three years ago. And now – we use that all the time and we run every play with that motion. Um, or, you know, n- recently we've been doing like counter schemes, but we don't pull off in some linemen. We pull me in the tight end. So it's like things we're, we're always getting to the same kind of stuff, but we're just doing it in a different way. And I feel like it's kind of, it's a cycle where like, you know, I'm sure in the next year or two, we're going to get back to 18 Mike as our bread and butter. <laughs> 